Hello Libra, welcome to my channel Bringer of Light Intuitive. I'm Cindy. Thank you so much for being here Libra. I'm happy to have you. Um, we are going to take a look at a an angel reading for you. Angel reading check-in for my Libras. Okay, so take what resonates for you Libra and leave anything that doesn't. These are timeless, so whenever this reading is finding you, if it sounds like your story or if it fits your situation, it's definitely for you. You can feel free to check out the other placements in your chart in this Zodiac uh, series to get a full picture. Let's just go ahead and get started. Angel reading for Libra. What is in Libra's strength position this week? We've got peace and harmony. I'm feeling an energy of balance here, so I feel like you're experiencing peace after a storm. Let me get another card. Inner power. Ooh, I like that. Inner power, the divine father. This is, you know, Aries energy. So I feel like you're really taking authority. You're making decisions to... Uh, this is in your strength position. So your angels are saying, you know, high-fiving you, Libra, and telling you, well done. This is, you know, something that you should be very proud of, is choosing peace, choosing harmony, choosing balance, and really taking authority um, is what I'm feeling here. Inner power, you're taking authority. You're deciding what it is that you what it, what it is that you want going forward and what do you no longer want you know and standing firm in that it's like that becomes your truth that becomes your boundaries that becomes your requirements for your life and you are taking authority and you are stepping into this like higher version of of authority for your life and standing firm in that you know, what matters to you and what creates peace for you and what creates balance for you. And you're saying no more to anything that doesn't align with that. And so your angels, I mean, and God, Divine Father, is they're saying, well done. <laughs> this is huge. This is really big energy, actually. Uh, Divine Father, thank you for co-creating my world with me. Also, thank you, Raguel. This is an archangel, Raguel, for surrounding my life in a harmonious light. So well done, Libra. Well done. You are taking control. You are standing up for your, for your truth, for your peace, for your balance in your life, in that harmo, harmo, harmony, Libra. Look at all the white. It's beautiful, actually. Look at all the white energy on here. It's like there's just so much clarity. So much clarity and so much peace. I feel like you've gotten recently gotten very clear about what it is that you want and what you don't want. And you are standing up for that in beautiful harmony, beautiful balance. I'm really loving this energy for you, Libra. So let's look at what your heart wants you to know. Libra. Yes. Wow. Yes. Let's get another card. You're saying yes to what fits and no to what doesn't. Your heart is in sync with your superpower. Your heart is like, yes, keep doing that. <laughs> because this raises your vibration and puts you in a place of receiving miracles and receiving blessings. So I have honor your beauty here and I have spirit animal. So I'm feeling like spirit animal. I want to say that came out in my collective angel reading yesterday, which was the 19th of February, depending on when you are seeing this. So I feel like you're receiving signs. You're receiving signs, maybe in nature. Maybe you connect with birds. Maybe you are receiving feathers. Maybe there's other forms of nature, you know, birds. This can be all kinds of birds. This can be um, any animal, really, that you feel connected to. I feel like you are receiving signs. And this may just be for one of you, Libra, because this, this seems to be a special message for somebody. It doesn't seem to fit with everything else. But I feel like for for who this resonates for is you're receiving signs. Well, first of all, you're receiving signs letting you know that you're not alone. And maybe you need to know that. 
And secondly, I feel like you're receiving signs that are, are confirmation of these steps that you're taking to protect your energy and to create healthy boundaries and protect your, uh, your boundaries. And this truth, this power that you're stepping into, I feel like you're receiving some sort of signs that are telling you you're on the right track. So I feel like that's a separate message for somebody. It says, thank you, Animal Kingdom, for blessing my path with love. And, you know, I'm feeling like this could be also a pet coming in that maybe recently passed away for a Libra watching and just saying that they're with you. You know, they're with you still. Because this is definitely a special message for somebody. So... Let me know in the comments below, please. I want to know who this is. And you'll know if this resonates and you feel it. You may get chills. I just got chills. So somebody's pet and somebody's spirit animal wants to come through to let you know that you are receiving signs, letting you know that they're with you, but also letting you know that you're on the right path and that you are this power, this authority that you're taking in your life is absolutely right on for you okay so i feel like they're just chiming in saying yes <laughs> okay and so you are following your yes and your heart is saying definitely keep doing that i have green on this energy is heart chakra so this we're asking about your heart and your heart chakra is coming through honoring your beauty honoring your your handsomeness honoring your uh, all the things that you love about yourself honoring you accepting you and loving you your heart is just wanting you to know that keep doing that or maybe this is a message for you to do that but i feel like you are honoring what is right for you and within that is also don't forget to honor you you know not just what is right for you and what feels good to you, but also honoring you specifically and how amazing and wonderful you are, okay? It says, thank you, Jophiel. She is the archangel of positivity. So if you need to ever think positively about yourself or anything else, you can call on Archangel Jophiel to help give you a positive spin, positive thoughts, positive energy. She really does show up and she really does help. Um, and this is very positive energy right here. Thank you, Jophiel, for helping me discover my inner and outer beauty. Let's see what is in your challenge position this week, Libra. Manifesting miracles. That came out in somebody else's too. I want to say cancer. Tell me something else. Tell me more about this. What are these miracles that we are manifesting? A leap of faith. Ask and receive. So you may you may still be struggling. You know, this is coming up actually in a lot of these signs readings in the challenge position is just i feel like a lot of us are kind of you know we're all manifesting something and i feel like we're all sort of waiting <laughs> you know and i feel like it's the challenge of waiting you know everything is coming into balance for you you're choosing your balance you're choosing your you're setting priorities for yourself libra and you're choosing everything right and all these things had to happen in order for you to become who you are right now to prepare you for what is coming. And I feel like it's just like you're still waiting for certain things, you know, and it's just that waiting part that we need to just take a step back and be like, oh, OK, you know, it's it's still unfolding, <laughs> you know, it's a challenge sometimes. I've got the leap of faith card here and I've got focusing your mind. So I feel like your being your angels are saying in your challenge position you're saying they're saying you may be struggling with just remembering that things are still unfolding. You know, you are in this new beginning. You are taking a leap of faith in a new direction and maybe it's a leap of faith just trusting. That can be a leap of faith all on its own. So whatever, you know, direction that you're going in, you are definitely stepping into a new cycle and things are just 
still unfolding. So you may be just challenged in, in your challenge position. You may just be challenged with thinking like, you know, maybe triggers from the past that say that you're, you know, it's never going to happen or whatever. It's like we're needing to focus our mind on the positives. We've got Archangel Jophiel here helping you with positive thinking and we've got the focusing your mind. So that's interesting. You know, just really remembering that things are unfolding, remembering to trust your angels, trust the guidance that you're receiving, trust the decisions that you're making, trust you and that you're on the right path and everything is just still unfolding. Okay, so I've got Thank you, angels, for helping me to focus on my priorities. I'm ready to take a leap, angels. Thank you for doing it with me. Also, thank you, Archangel Orion, for manifesting your miracles in my world. When you get caught up in the like the, the waiting game and you know, really wanting those miracles to manifest today, and still feeling like nothing is happening. First of all, just because you can't see it with your natural eyes yet doesn't mean nothing's happening. Things are happening behind the scenes where your angels are coming together. We've got archangels showing up here and the divine father. Things are definitely happening in the unseen world behind the scenes for you. You just can't see it in your experience yet doesn't mean it's not happening right so when we get caught up in that that waiting game or or getting uh you know struggling with that then what you need to do in those moments or a good tool that i have learned for my own self in those moments of why hasn't it happened yet is just how can i <laughs> not poke myself in the eye but how can i focus my mind right now what what can I do right now that will make me feel good that will put a smile on my face it helps to distract your mind from what your brain is trying to tell you hasn't happened yet and it helps to put you in that high vibe state in that peace and harmony that you're doing so well with Libra which your balance your Libra your justice so how perfect that you are in your balance you're in your power I love that but if you are struggling at all with things that haven't actually started manifesting yet, in those moments, try to be aware of how you're feeling in those moments and just stop the thoughts. Stop your mind and just think, okay, hold on. What can I do in this moment with the resources that I have and where I'm at right now in this moment? How can I distract myself? How can I feel good? What can I do that will make me feel happy, put a smile on my face, make me laugh, make me feel good? Because this raises your vibration, right? Now, you know, I'm not saying that you need to go take a road trip or spend money. I'm saying in where you're at right now with the resources that you have in this moment, what can you do? Maybe I can play with my child. Maybe I can take a walk. Maybe I can take a bath. Maybe I can play with my pet. Maybe I can pet my pet, you know, or maybe I can call up a friend that makes me laugh. Maybe I can watch a movie that makes me laugh. Something in this moment that you can do, and if you have to do this several times a day to help you to, to not struggle with the, the manifestations, you know, the, the unfolding of things, Whatever you can do in those moments to help to distract you and keep you in a high vibe state, that's cho choosing you and prioritizing you, Libra, and your happiness. That's helping you to follow your yes and do things that make you feel good, like this person is feeling good. Okay, let me know if that helps. And let's get you an angel message to close your reading. Libra. What does Libra need to know? Oh, wow. So I got two, the nine of fire and the 10 of air. So like you've been through a lot. You've been through a lot. So this takes me back to the beginning where you're choosing what is right for you. You're standing in authority and power. You're saying no to bound. Uh, to, you're saying yes to boundaries. You're saying no to um, burdens burdens that are not yours to carry anymore. 
you're saying no more to any sort of stuff from the past. You have literally made some big changes, Libra. You've made some big changes in your life to set yourself free, to, you know, close the cycles of the past, choosing balance, choosing harmony, choosing peace, choosing your truth and standing up in that. And so I feel like your angels are just saying, I have protection, preparedness, resilience. Look at how far you've come. Look at how strong you are. You know, give yourself some props too. Endings, recovery, and freedom. You're literally starting a new cycle. You're starting a new cycle. We've got the 10 of air. Everything goes in cycles of 10. And the nine is finality, is fulfillment. You have learned the lessons that you were meant to learn. You have reached fulfillment. It's time for you to start this new cycle. So you're just sort of ready and waiting for things to unfold. And you may get, you know, a little bit antsy sometimes. Waiting for things to unfold, right? So your angel message is for the Ten of Air is we understand that things feel a little bit dramatic right now. Close your eyes and envision yourself wrapped in our wings. Take a few deep breaths and try to step away from the situation emotionally. It's time to let go of what has been so that you can start to create a better, a beautiful new life of what will be. You're definitely stepping in to that new cycle. It just may not be fully, you may not be able to fully see it yet. And sometimes that can be a little frustrating. The angel message for the nine of fire is for Libra. If you feel unsafe as though someone or something you love is in danger, call upon us. We are right here day and night to help you stand guard against all threats. This card says successfully recovering from an illness. So I don't know if that is something for somebody here, but you are being prepared. You're being prepared for some major miracles that are manifesting. You're being prepared and there's a new leap of faith that you are getting ready to start that is about to unfold for you and I feel like you know that but it's like it hasn't fully unfolded yet and so it could it can get you a little bit in your head so just know that you are on the right track and you are making the right decisions and everything is unfolding the way it's supposed to for you Libra all right so I hope this helped please comment below and let me know who I'm reading for and how this resonated, and I'll see you in the next reading.